Next up, we're going to review industry and manufacturing. So the big ideas we're going to cover is the industrial revolution, site and situation, and then the most important that you need to know for the exam is Weber's least cost theory. But I also just wanted to mention the hoteling model as well as Loesch. So the industrial revolution started in the late 1700s in the northern part of England, so that would be part of the UK. And it was a series of improvements in industrial technology that transformed the process of manufacturing goods. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, goods were dispersed. People really only had stuff that was made in their own little town and village. Most of it was made in homes, which was known as cottage industry. But the Industrial Revolution changes all of that. And it's really powered by one specific invention, which is the steam engine, which ran on coal power. So all of that's really important to understanding the Industrial Revolution. The site factors when it comes to this results from the unique characteristics of a location. Situation involves transporting materials to and from a location. The proximity to inputs. Uh, the optimal location is as close as possible to inputs if the cost of transporting raw materials are greater than the product to the consumer. So bulk reducing industries uh, mean that you take something out during manufacturing. So it's bulk reducing, it's lightest at the end, which means you would want to produce that close to the raw material. Proximity to markets, it means that the optimal location is close to the consumers if the cost of transporting to consumers is higher. This would be true for bulk gaining industries, things that get heavier through production. So that would be things like car manufacturing. You want to, to produce those cars closer to the market because it's most expensive at the end of the process. So the hoteling theory basically explains why like businesses end up actually being close to one another, when it would actually be better for us as consumers if they were spread out. The location cannot be understood without reference to other industries of the same kind. So businesses depend on the geographic proximity to other businesses and attractions to stay in business, or the consumer wants and needs the company in a location. The most important model that you need to know though for industry is definitely this, the Alfred Weber least cost theory. So this is all about manufacturing, where it's going to locate. So where are you going to put your factory in order to make the most amount of money? And Weber says there are three things you should take into account, transportation, labor, and agglomeration. So transportation, he says that the best site for your factory is where the cost to transport materials and finished products is the lowest. Now that's going to depend on whether you're a bulk gaining or bulk reducing industry. Also, he says labor is important. So high labor costs reduce profit location. So locations near cheap labor can offset transportation, especially for goods that are cheap to transport, like textiles. Agglomeration is when a group of industries cluster together for mutual benefit. So this can also take into account where you would want to put your factory. So I just wanted to mention the Loesch model. This determines the locations manufacturing plants could choose to maximize profits. So firms will try to identify a cone in which some kind of profit can be expected. So to the left and the right, distance decay will make sales unprofitable. They will try to situate themselves away from the margins in that zone, and other businesses can always change the configuration of that zone. 